Hey there, I'm Shen, Global Head of Products at HTC, here again to tell you about what's coming up in our next software update for Vive XR Elite, Photo 6. Let's start with Vive Streaming. Working with Valve, we've improved automatic binding mapping for controllers with SteamVR content that wasn't fully compatible with XR Elite's controllers. From the next update, users on SteamVR version 1.26 or higher will be able to spend more time in VR and less time fiddling around with bindings. We've also improved our QR code scanner's performance, so pairing your headset to your PC will now be even easier. We've also added native OSC support into Vive Streaming. OSC is a protocol that was originally designed for communication of audio devices, but is actually implemented by VRChat for avatar data input. OSC support means that when our upcoming self-tracking tracker and XR Elite eye and facial tracking accessories launch, more news on those in the near future, this will make using them with VRChat a lot more seamless. You'll no longer need to install and troubleshoot any third-party software add-ons. Vive Focus 3 users with the eye tracker and or facial tracker will be able to benefit from this feature too. In this release, we've also added more refinement and polish to our system. I won't mention all of them, just a few key ones, such as improvements to instant tracking mode, which released not long ago. For when you want to be able to use your headset in different locations without needing to do room set up each individual time. We got really good feedback and suggestions on its features and have added initial pass-through mode whenever you resume into instant mode. So you have a better understanding of the temporary boundary in relation to your surroundings. Elsewhere, we've also added a ruler to mixed reality room setup. So now you can precisely set the exact dimensions of your surrounding objects like your desk so you can have an even more accurate representation of your surroundings down to the millimeter. For our users who want the bleeding edge features, we've made it easier than ever to opt into our beta program. Just go into the settings area in your home space and opt in to get access to our latest experimental and pre-release features. No need for tedious signups, and existing beta users will be automatically streamlined into the new beta process. In this Photo 6 update, beta users will get access to our experimental version of our home UI, that will support direct hand manipulation. Just enable it in the beta features and your launcher interface will now be shrunk within an arm's reach. You can drag around its placement and directly use your fingers to interact. At any time you want to opt out and return to the stable branch, it's easy, just go back and disable it. We'd love to hear feedback on everything in this update, especially the beta features. We also want to know what features and changes you'd like to see in future updates. You can get in touch through our official Discord channel where you can find myself and CT from our engineering team and feel free to tag us. Photo 6 will be released in the coming week and will pop up a notification on your headset once it's available. See you next time.